Um, so I thought I'd revise my thoughts on Will Wagner's Leica just because I feel like I didn't give enough of the songs justice. I mean, I talked about some of them, but not all of them, and some of them that I missed are some of the most hard-hitting songs on that album. Pay alarm. Goodbye. Um, but yeah. Um, this video is just to reiterate what I said. I'm not going to talk much about the musical stylings of that album. Uh, I don't know if that's the right term. I'm not going to talk about the guitar or anything. It's great, but I'm more going to talk about the lyrics, because the lyrics are the most meaningful part of this album, and it's why I listen to it so often, because they just have all of the songs from talking about his insecurities to talking about his life in Melbourne. They're all just so relatable, I guess. But I'll start off with the song New Jackie, which is about... Um, his relationship with this girl, Jackie, who he only became, I guess, boyfriend to because of smoking. Um, and he talks so... He sings so honestly about how if he could go back and meet his younger self, he would wring his neck, he would strangle himself because of how much that messed up his life, about how smoking to impress this girl, it meant so little... And how he's always... He talks about later in the song about how he's always going to either be impressing someone, constantly trying to impress someone, or always living in a life where he's scared shitless of people not liking him. And he always feels like he has to do something and impress them just so they like him. And then on the topic of insecurities, we also have songs like I'm Not Gonna Lie to You and song about why I suck. Um, I'm Not Gonna Lie to You is about... It feels like it's about him, and I don't know if Will ever had depression, but it feels like it's about that, because he talks about how he's been feeling like giving up, and how he's been squandering the gifts that he's been given, his like musical ability, he's been squandering that. And, yeah, that's a really honest thing to sing about, about how he feels like giving up. But then, almost in contrast to that, immediately after he sings about how he may not have slept since 2006, but he's had some of the most glorious moments of happiness in between 2006 and when this album was released. And that's kind of a good thing to hear, that while he may not be able to sleep at night, he still like, goes to bed every night thinking about how great his life has been, or at least some of the points of his life has been. And Song About Why I Suck covers more of his insecurities, and it, he really opens up about his friends, about how he used to steal from his friends, and the song would be the way he tells them. And that's another really honest part of the album. There's It's kind of split down the middle between, like, happy songs and him just pouring his heart out. Um to the people listening to the album. And then that's followed by songs about him and his life in Melbourne, which are some of my favourite songs on the albums. Like, Eviction Notices is a two-minute slice of life from when he used to live in Melbourne, it seems, because he talks about how um, uh, eviction notices don't get any less embarrassing and how he that you're not supposed to live with them, and he's surprised that people ever could live with them. And I just like that, that it's two minutes of him just singing about his life, just snapshots, like when he got evicted from his apartment or house or whatever. And then there's more like Signals Mid-Best. I always feel like I'm pronouncing or saying that name wrong. But that's my favourite song on the album, because it feels like a genuine Australian folk campfire song, like you would just pass around a guitar and a beer around a fire and just jam out this song to everyone. But it covers more of his life in Melbourne, and it's become a trend recently that Melbourne bands talk about themselves and how they've been dealing with life. And I will be making a video on Camp Cope's debut album because it's beautiful, yep. And Georgia Mack also covers a lot of her life in Melbourne and some of the most heartbreaking songs. But I digress. Um, Malt Memories is another good song because it's about relationships and about how he's been watching something great in his life 
bloat and stagnate and it's about I feel like it's about a relationship with a girl and it ties in more with um I'm not gonna lie to you and those songs really like make a pair together like that nice imagery um but yeah cause in I'm not gonna lie to you he sings about how he'll always have her ink under his skin like she's left a tattoo on him that he just can't get rid of and that I guess he doesn't want to get rid of and Malt Memories talks about how he's going to miss her, but he thinks it's for the best that the relationship ends because it was good at the start, but he doesn't want it to get worse. And that's relatable because you don't really want to be in a relationship with someone and then watch that relationship just, I guess, disintegrate in front of you. You kind of want to spend your time with that person and make it happy. And even though it may have been great, you don't want it to not be great anymore. And then finally, well not finally, I still have two more songs to talk about, um, we come to How They Made Us, and How They Made Us is one of my favourite songs. It's about life in Melbourne, it seems, but it's like his take on Melbourne lifestyle, because he talks about how the clubs up on Swan Street pulse to the backbeat of violence, violence and sadness and god-awful sweat heat, and how everyone in those clubs are so angry with the way the cities run and the way their lives are going that they just have to let it all out to any of the bands playing in the clubs on Swan Street. And it also ends with some of, like, the verse ends with my favourite lyrics about how um, the people smash up train stations, they were so angry they forgot what they were angry about, and the city is a punching bag for the punish to let something out. So they're graffitiing and vandalizing because it's a way for them to let out their anger with the world. And I guess now we reach finally, we have the title track Leica, which is not about any of the subjects I just covered. It's about the dog that got sent to space. And, oh my god, <laughs> if you haven't heard this song, sit down in a dark room and just listen to it and let him sing you this heart-wrenching tale of the dog that got sent into space. He, oh, spoiler alert, I guess. I don't really know if you can do a spoiler alert for a song, but, um, listen to it, then watch this section of the video because you kind of have to hear it firsthand and then, I guess, listen to my thoughts on it. But, oh my God, from this point on, yeah. Um, he, oh, he sings about how they fed, the scientists fed Laika the last meal and it was the same as its first, but it doesn't know. It doesn't know that it was, it's only eating the same thing. It's just happy to be helping out and uh, it gets sent into space and the worst or the best part of the song and the most heartbreaking part of the song is when it sings about how even a parachute would have shown that the scientist cared about the dog because it knows it will die, and that is fine because in some way it's helping mankind. I just quoted the song to you guys. But yeah, it's helping mankind by being up there and teaching about how maybe humans can follow it into space. But yeah, the lyrics on this album, it, it really makes this album great. It's Will being so open and honest about how he's not important and about how he thinks he's so, like, bad and that he just wants to give up. But thinking of the great memories in his life just makes him want to keep going. And it's so relatable. And it... Because everyone's felt like that at some point in their lives. Here I get preachy, but everyone's felt like they want to give up at some points. But Will teaches you through the power of song that you don't have to give up, and that you just have to, even if you're not sleeping at night, just spend those nights staring at the ceiling, reliving the past moments in your life. Think about how you, you made that person smile yesterday, or how you got an A on that test, or just enjoy life. <laughs> preachy Dylan is preachy. Yeah, I know. I'll end that video there, um, and I'll see you guys in another one. Goodbye.